Recently, I got a question from someone that wanted to take a single instance of a stereo effects return channel and pan it independently across different tracks and are wondering if that was even possible to do in Cubase. And it's really easy to get set up. A common scenario where you may run into this is if you have two guitar players in a recording. Then you may want to pan one guitar player hard left, the other hard right, but pan their effects in the opposite channels. And it's quite easy to get set up in Cubase. So let's take a listen to a project that would, uh, this would be a typical production trick on. So if I want to listen to a guitar that was panned hard left, and now hard right. So what I want to do is I'm going to select the last channel that we want to be affected. I'm going to right click and we're going to add a effects channel track. We're going to choose a reverb in this instance. So at this point, we'll just add a little revelation. We're going to make it a stereo track and I'm going to choose to create outside folder and that will place our effects return channel on our project window directly below the selected track or in our mix console directly to the right of the selected track. So now we click add track and at that point we have our effects return channel. Now I want to open up the edit channel settings for the particular guitar channels. So I'm going to click on the edit button here and I could see my effects channel for that particular ch for that selected channel and if I want to see the other one I could click on the E and we notice that this will automatically be updated so we have one single instance uh, if you didn't want that to be the case all you'd have to do is to hold down the alt key and then click on the edit channel buttons and now you could have two separate independent edit channel settings windows open so what I want to do is on my sends, I want to send it directly to my revelation. We'll turn that on and we'll set our send amount here. We'll set it to minus around minus two. And I'll do that for both channels. So at this point, send it to the revelation, turn it on and we'll send it roughly. about the same settings. So now what we see is a panning button and this is where a lot of people miss. So if you click the panning, this channel is gonna be panned hard right. So I want that effect to be panned hard left. We'll select the panning here and this one's panned hard left for the signal and I want the effect to be panned in the opposite speaker. So now if I wanted to solo each of the guitar parts, we can hear the effect in the opposite channel of the guitar. And in context of the mix. So that's how you could do that across multiple channels. And I often get this question and people are, can get very adamant that effects channels and group channels are exactly the same thing. The group channels, you don't have this independent panning for. And this is one of the few distinctions between an effects channel track and, an, and a group channel. So as you can see, the ability to take one single instance of a stereo effects return and to pan it independently across different tracks can really speed up your production workflow. If you have found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.